Welcome, uh, this is going to be a quick installation video for the Play On Digital Media server. Uh, it's a great way to get uh, all kinds of digital media content uh, from the web onto your TV via your Xbox, your PlayStation, or your Wii. So why don't we just get started and jump right in here. Uh, first thing you want to do is going to go to uh, playon.tv and uh, download, uh, if, if you want to, you can download a, a trial version of the software first. You just got to put in your name and your email address and hit download and it'll download the software for you. If I can type it in right here. And if you hit the button there, it'll download the software like it just did there and uh, you're set to go. Now while that's downloading, there are plugins for the Play On software that you can download that will allow you to view uh, a whole bunch of other video sources that aren't built into the software. Now it is built in with uh, Hulu and, and uh, Comedy Central, I believe, and a few others, uh, quite a few others. But there are other uh, sources you can download as well. Uh, people have created these plugins on their own using the API, so you just download them from playonplugins.com or playonlabs.net, as you see here. Um, so you can see a bunch of different ones here for Fox News, for local media files, MTV, NASCAR, Spike TV, South Park whole bunch of different ones there. And again, a lot of these are just RSS feeds for video that uh, appear on the web somewhere that people have made plugins for for the Play On software. All right, so it looks like our software is just about done downloading there. Let's uh, get that installing. So the installation process is pretty easy. It's just going to be like any other software install. Uh, you're just going to click Next a few times here accept the uh, terms of agreement and that will run through pretty quick here. All right, once this is done we'll be able to go into the play on settings and uh, set all sorts of different things like uh, set the video performance, uh, start and stop the play on media server, tell it if it should be an icon in the uh, system tray, tell if it should start when um, when the PC starts and so forth. Uh, you can see your processor and disk space, uh, check for updates. And on this screen you can enter your Netflix, Hulu, uh, Amazon Video On Demand and other uh, video sites login information so you can view your own favorites and so forth. Here's the plugins tab. Um, and finally over here you have your social media networking. You can enter your Twitter and Facebook login information and share what you're viewing with your friends. And here's where you enter your, your license information. So we've got that installed on the desktop now. And we're beaming it over to the Xbox 360 on the TV. Let's turn it on and see what we've got now. So the media server is running on that computer. Now we're going to go over to the video section on the Xbox 360 and see if Play On is now showing up as a video option. So there's video. Open that up and choose play on. And from there we'll go in and you have all your different video sources. Amazon, Hulu, a bunch of others. So we're going to choose Hulu. And now we're just going to go in. I think we're going to look at a movie trailer. We'll go through here and it'll load the video. And once it's done, it should start showing the video uh, or an ad if you're due to see an ad. Uh, now Hulu will show you ads as, as will a couple of other uh, video sources, but not all of them will. So here we're going to just watch a preview. And here it comes. So as you can see, the video quality is actually pretty darn good for uh, being streaming video that you're streaming over your network to your Xbox, PlayStation, or Wii, and uh, it looks really good on the TV there. So that's it. Uh, that's the basic install of the Play On Digital Media Server software, uh, which in my opinion is a great option to get free TV watching options uh, if you're trying to cut back on your cable bill or your satellite bill. 
Just install Play On on your desktop computer. Make sure it's hooked up to the network and that your Xbox 360 is recognizing the server. And you've got a ton of great video watching options. Thanks for tuning in and good luck.